Hi, I'm Carrie Wilbanks here in Toronto, Canada, a city that is exploding in growth and tourism, especially when it comes to development around the Pan American Games. We're going to show you a behind the scenes look, talk to some experts, and even catch some sights in the city. Let's go. David, what kind of changes have you seen in Toronto over the last five to ten years? Well, I think the biggest change is just the growth. And Toronto is probably one of the fastest growing cities in North America. In fact, we're now the fourth largest city in North America in terms of population. So, and growth in the tourism sector. New attractions, new restaurants, and you'll see a lot of that while you're here. How do you describe the atmosphere of the South Core? The South Core really is a great example of a new Toronto that's, that's emerging. It is the gathering place, a purpose-built destination with hotels, restaurants, sports venues, and literally meters away from Lake Ontario here on the Great Lakes. Toronto is expected to see even more growth and that's because this city is hosting the Pan Am Games in 2015 of this year. Here to tell us more about it is Saad. Hi, how are you? Good, thank Good. you. So what is the Pan Am Games expected to bring to Toronto? Oh, many things. First off, uh, it's going to bring the uh, 10,000 athletes, coaches and officials from the Americas. What Vancouver and Calgary Olympics did for Winter Sports for Canada, hopefully these games will do for our summer athletes as well. You guys have also set a precedent by building a community around the structures that you guys are putting in place for the Pan Am Games. Tell us some about that. The Athletes' Village is one of the most iconic uh, structures and infrastructures in any multi-sport game. Olympics, Pan Am, you name it. And so this particular Athletes' Village finds itself in a downtown location, which is pretty unique. This is also a game that people can expect to come, and there is price points that meet most every demographic. This is really geared towards a family experience. And our venues are, are tightly clustered, so bring your family and see everything from rugby sevens to beach volleyball to, to, to squash. We hope that uh, our, our U.S. friends and neighbors will, will flood in here to enjoy the games. Hope to see you back for the games, and thank you so much for the information. Thank you for your time.